Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's video, we're going to look at another tab in our tutorial for Navis Work Manage. We're going to look at the review. There is four panels in this tab. We're going to look, take a look at the tags, markup, comments, and measure. So measuring panel has a lot of good tools that we can use when you are creating uh, viewpoints and we want to leverage an exhibit that we want to share with the team. So if you like the content, please make sure you subscribe and leave a like and let's go to Navis Work so we can look at that review tab. So for the review tab, you have four panels, measure, tags, markup, and comments. We're gonna start with the measure. Drop down, you can see point to point, another option. Let's start with the point to point. You can go from one point to another point. You'll be able to make the measurement between two points. It can give you X, Y, and Z access. So if you wanna log, these measurements you can basically go to the lock you can lock it on x y z and perpendicular and parallel let's just start with the measurement and lock it on z axis so you can see i cannot move at any other portion but just the elevation or the z axis that i get that if i want to go and do the y axis if i get from one point to another point only give me a measurement on the y axis not the other axis so you can basically lock your measurement to any area that you want or if you go on none it's going to give you all the measurement for all the different areas x y z and then the distance between the two points that you already measured the next one you can do from one point to multiple location so if you want to snap to this location you want to get the distance and then you want to go this to the different one from the same point so you don't have to kind of uh, cancel and go back and turn it on you can get from one point to multiple point the point the next one basically is going to add the measurement um, of the area that you go so from the first point to the second point to the third point you can see basically adding the extra dimension when you go it basically give you like accumulation from point a to the last point that you have let's say between point A and B. The next one is basically give you a measurement one by one. So this one is gonna be 27 feet. Uh, you can start with a different one from different location. It's gonna add that to that one. So it's not gonna be from a certain point going. You can go from a different angles and in different areas, getting stuff added and we'll be able to see it. Also, you can get measurement for angles. You need three points. If you wanna select three points in an area, basically give you an angle between those um, area that you want. The last one is gonna be the area. So this is basically simple. If you wanna get area, uh, Navis, you basically just um, click around the area. You'll be able to see, you can get it in square feet. If you wanna change the unit, you can go to the editor option and change that one. So the next item that you can see here grayed out is shortest distance. You have to have select two items in order to see the shortest distance between two. So if you wanna give that uh, basically highlighted, you need to uh, select two objects and then you can see the shortened distance gets updated. So let's just start, uh, let's say we want to get the elevation from this area. Um, so let me just get closer over there. Okay, that's good. And if I want to convert anything to a markup, Navis creates a viewpoint and you can see that. If I move, that measurement goes away. But if you go back to the viewpoint, it's going to give you the measurement of the area. If you want to add more items to it, you can kind of convert them to markup and you can basically update the viewpoint and you can see that if i move uh, those are going to go away but if i click on the viewpoint it basically shows me the saved markup so this is a great um, item if you want to have a viewpoint with the measurements on just make sure you basically um, create a viewpoint or convert to markup it basically give you everything the main one that's been I mean, you can use it in coordination uh, many times and it's very useful. It's a measuring tool. It basically give you X, Y, and Z and give you the difference between two locations. So I'm going to get the point first, X, Y, and Z, elevation of that surface. And let's just get it to that corner. So you can see basically give me the same thing for the uh, that location and also give me the difference in the Y, X, and Z 
axis so this is this is a really good area even if you want to get the elevation uh, between the footing and the slab you want to see how much the slab or the footing is below your slab um, you can let me just go over here so you guys see that i have the footings over there and i have the slab so if i want to know the elevation of my footings or the elevation of the finish floor or my slab you can basically just click on them simply and it's going to give me the difference between those two uh in the difference area so i think this is going to be a great tool if you guys want to use it in your meetings this is really really helpful for you to um, get the measurement and basically you play with it and get everybody all the areas so let's just go back to the same location and then uh, let's just start with uh, a different panel so tags so tags is a great item so you create a punch list in your Navis, you can add views, comments, dates, and you can also export all of this. So you can see, I'm just gonna click on it and it's gonna open up a comment. I have a viewpoint already. I have the comments. I can add uh, my notes to it. It's gonna be a status. It's gonna be new, active, resolved, or reviewed. You can use all of that. And every single item that you create is gonna stay in that viewpoint with all the associated comments. And you can save this model share it with the team so i can add another one for no two let's say i want to get this cup and cabinet type changed and then you know you can see all the status if you want these are all new so all of these two under the one viewpoint because i created those tags in that viewpoint so if i move and come back you guys can see i'll be able to see the tags that are created as soon as i move those are going away and if i click on a tag again i basically create another view for the new area with the number so every single a tag has a specific number specific tag id that you can export with all the comments and all the associated items with it and you can kind of share it with your subs and with the trades i'm gonna create another one over here for uh let's just put sync changed and then uh, you can see i have all the tags i have all the areas with this and this is going to be a really good item for the punch list so if you want to create your punch list here you can do that and send it say publish as an nwd send it to um related sub they can go through the viewpoint see the comments change the status or basically uh, go over so you can see right here i'm kind of clicking on every single one of them is going to take me back over there and we'll be able to see what's going on so right here you can see it is going to you if you want to re renumber them if you want to import them if there is a, anybody has any other tags you can import you'll be able to see and if you want to go from one tag to another tag you can basically use this uh, kind of skip tool to go from one to another one the main thing for each one is when you create a comment you can see all associated comment with that tag under the view comments so you guys can see basically right here shows the comments that i put over there the author the id and you can adjust all of these column and add as you want and you can see in the viewpoint one i have two comments because I have two issues in that one and if you go to three four and five each has one tag one comment with the comment id that you are can see and share with others it's really easy turn it on and off it's gonna go away looking for a specific comment or specific comment id you can type in a search box and you'll be able to see all of those so i think this is a kind of great tool that i wanted to bring it to your attention if you want to use it as a punch list for those who are using the model very much and then we can have a better communication with the field last panel markup so easy you can go on the text any area you click on is going to open up the box you can basically write your notes is going to be over there and it's going to create a viewpoint if you right click you can move also you can edit what you put over there just make sure you kind of right click on the text because if you right click on the object it's not gonna give you that option and if you go to the draw panels you have all of these tools um, that you can use in your meetings to kind of create a viewpoint for the people and the, the good thing about the viewpoint is it basically create a snapshot with all the associated markups and notes for that area so you can kind of use any of these freehand line 
um, cloud and then erase or basically remove everything and then right now you can see my v viewpoint doesn't have anything because i removed it so if you erase them even though you have the view but the markups is gone so thickness is going to change the line and then right here you can change the color so you can basically change your notes and the colors that you have for the notes any color that you want so right now i kind of change it to red and i think these are basically are kind of covered all the panels that we have for uh, the review tab hoping that you guys learned anything from um, this tutorial and you'll be able to use it on your project thank you for watching